He never saw us until it was too late. He turned out to save us. Gosh, I feel bad about it. He was a fine man. You couldn't help it. He was interested in this case, wasn't he? Yes. I saw his notes he left for Dr. Lizer. It was a fine piece of diagnosis. He left notes for the operation, too. Dr. Lizer is very good, isn't he? Best. I'm here, darling. Where's Frank? He's gone ahead. He's had an accident. Hasn't he? Yes. A bad accident. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. All right, boys, step lively. An atropine injection, sister? Yes, a hundred. Is this a cranial case? Yes, that's right. Hello, squadron leader. We're all ready for you. Dr. Reeves? Yes. Permit me to return your book. Oh, ho! Aha! So it's you. I will introduce you to Philidor. A fair colleague, this is a special case, court of appeal. I will undertake to deliver Dr. Reeves. As you wish. Merci. Be of good cheer, friend. Thank you. One of the best men in the service, a compatriot of yours. What's his name? Oh, John... Bunyan, yes, of course. And uh, how is dear Peter? Oh, he has a fighting chance. Uh -huh. Dr. Frank Reeves. Yes. You are familiar with the case of Squadron Leader Carter. I am. He has chosen you to be his counsel. I hoped he would. Do you accept? I do. 
You have very little time in which to prepare your case. What facilities do you wish? I should like to see my client and get his instructions. And I subpoena Flying Officer Trubshaw as a witness. Certainly. Conductor 71, you will take Dr. Frank Reeves to Squadron Leader Carter. <laughs> 